skipping to verse 21 in Matthew 24. This is for there will be great tribulation. We're talking, this is the, this is the great tribulation we was reading about in Daniel. This is the great tribulation that's coming that Revelation is talking about. This is the flock of the slaughter. This great tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time, nor, no, nor shall ever be. So this will never, this is a very, very horrible, terrible time. This is a slaughter that we're talking about here. Jacob's trouble is a time like no other. This flock of the slaughter is a time like no other. And our people scattered in the midst of all these nations and all these countries, in the midst of wickedness. And this slaughter will come to the wicked. It's going to come to our people. It's going to come to the wicked. We're going to fall with the wicked being around them. This is what happened. That's why we had to separate ourselves from the wicked. So there's no other time like this. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the righteous sake, those days will be shortened. The time is going to go. This is the time flying. This is the, this is the video I did uh, just showing how, why time is flying. Why time going by so fast. The days are shortened. A month seems like only two weeks a week. A year seems like five months. Before you know it, it's another year. And it's just moving at a rapid pace like no other we've ever seen. You're talking extraordinary. You're talking exponentially. The time is speeding out of control. And this is where we're at. So we're talking about the Great Tribulation. People don't know and understand when when is the slaughter coming? When is Jacob's trouble? And when is the most high when is the most high going to send his son to gather his people? Isaiah 11 and 11. And the Christians, the Christians figured this one out, some of them, not all of them. How is it? We're supposed to be walking in the truth. How is it? We're supposed to be studying the scriptures, reading for ourselves, you know. We're supposed to be studying for ourselves and not believing anyone else. How is it we allow them to get something before we get it? But they got it. Here's when he comes. Verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days. Listen. Immediately after the tribulation. Remember Daniel said, I saw him making war and killing the righteous until... The ancient of days came. So he, the slaughter will continue. It will continue until he comes. And he's not, and when he comes, that's when tribulation is over. It's over at that point. Now it's wartime. The sons of light versus the sons of dark. Now you're going to see a people rise up. Where have these people been? These people have been in the wilderness, sheltered by the Most High, eating, worshiping, learning. These people will be very, very powerful people ready for battle. Ready for battle. In those days, it says immediately after those, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the son of man will appear in heaven. And then all the sons of the earth will mourn. And they will see the sun coming on the clouds. Here we go. You want to know when he's coming? You want to know when he's going to gather you? After Jacob's trouble. Well, our people forget about Jacob's trouble. At this point, Babylon is destroyed. Babylon is gone. Babylon is finished. Anyone that's in her, you can forget the kingdom. Babylon is gone. You missed it. You didn't come out. You was waiting for a fairy tale delivery. 
You was waiting for delivery mail, special delivery by the Most High when he said deliver yourself. He's not going to deliver you in Babylon. He will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great splendor, and he will send his, his malachs with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together his righteous from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Here he is gathering the people. Okay, I want to skip to... We're getting a comparison with Noah here as the days of Noah, the flood they were eating, they was drinking. This is us today doing the things we want to do, not knowing what's coming. This is what will happen. We're in the days of Noah. All right, this is what I want to get to. Because this is what's coming. Our people right now, they're feeling, what's the word? Anchy, fidget. They're feeling, I'm, I'm, I'm past ready for him to come. We're in the midst of wickedness. When is he going to come? We've been waiting a long time for the rapture. We've been waiting a long time for him to gather us. We've been waiting for those spaceships. We're filming our, we're taking our videos, showing in the skies, look at the most highest chariots, knowing the chariots going to come pick us up and take us out of this wicked land. This is what we're waiting on. Whoa. It says, listen, the scripture, we've heard many woes. Woe to these people who say these things. Woe, woe, woe to these people. Verse 45, who then is a righteous and wise servant whom his master made ruler over his household? Who? Who is this wise servant? The master made ruler over his household. What's the household? The household is the land. This is the household he's talking about. He's going to make these people ruler over his land within the borders to give food in due season. Here are the people in the wilderness. See, our people read this. They have no idea what it's talking about because they can't connect the dots with the scriptures. They don't have the Ruach HaKadosh within them. They don't have the most highest favor to open their eyes and show them. Here it is. He's going to make these people ruler over his house, ruler over his land in the wilderness to give them food in due season. Why? The rest of the world be, will be experiencing famine and death. This is what they will be experiencing. But these people, he's going to give them food in due season. He's asking who is that righteous and wise servant? When he come, you've been made ruler over the house. You are ruling in the land of the wilderness. Look at you. The Most High showed me people in the wilderness. The Most High showed me malachs in the wilderness. I know there will be malachs in the wilderness. He showed me this. He showed me people eating. I saw, I don't want to tell you too much of what I saw. I saw the people eating in the wilderness. The scripture talks about the vines giving forth 1,000 fold. I, this is what the scripture says. The people, he will give the people food in due season when there is no food anywhere else on earth. The, these people will have food. But rock is that servant. That servant came out, got within the borders, ended up in the wilderness, and even made it past the two-thirds being cut off. See, the two-thirds are gone by this time. Who is that righteous servant when Yahushua come will be found in the wilderness getting eating food in due season? Who? Who is that righteous servant? Is it you? Some of you that's listening, some of you within the borders right now, it's you. It is you. This is what it's talking about. The ones in America? No, none of them. None. The one that's planning on coming out, maybe some of them. They are ready. They are ready. They're making their way. They're coming out. Yes. But the ones that says he going to gather us, none of them. So who? Who is that? Who, when the master, he comes, find doing so. When Yahushua comes, who is he going to find doing this? This is the question we're being asked here. But rock is that servant. 
Or surely I say to you, he will make him ruler over all his goods. You're going to end up in the land ruling over all of his goods. But if the servant says in his heart, here, here is the evil servant. Here are those in those scattered lands waiting for him to gather them. If that evil servant says in his heart, my master is delaying his coming, the one in the wilderness, they already know his coming. They don't worry. They're not worried about his coming. They are taken care of. They're eating food in due season. They're in the presence of the most high. These people are doing and they are protected by the most high. These people know all we have to do now is just continue to eat and live and have a good time and learn. And Yahushua's, he's going to come when he comes. We're not worrying about a delay. We know the delay. The Malachs taught us. They showed us, yes, there's going to be a delay. So, but here is the evil servant. My master delayed his coming. Here are your Christians waiting for the rapture. He delayed his coming and begins to beat. They get discouraged. And they begin to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with the drunkards. They begin to do things they have no business doing because they done lost all hope now. They didn't come out. They're still in the midst of wickedness. And now they done gave up. He ain't coming. The master of that servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him. And at an hour he is not aware of because he didn't know scripture. He didn't understand scripture. He says, and I will cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is a hypocrite. You call yourself righteous. You was no more than a hypocrite. These people, watch out for these people. They, they are in these lands. They are in America. I'm telling you, they're going to talk righteous in your face. These are your, your, these are your camp leaders. This is who this is talking about. You're going to find out shame will cover them. Isaiah 65 and 12. Here is the most high. Here is your last verse. The most high have for me. Therefore, I will number you for the sword. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Abba, you love us. Why are you numbering us with the sword? Why? Here is the question. Why didn't you gather us? He says, I'm numbering you with the sword. Why? And you shall bow down to the slaughter. Why? Why are we bowing down to the slaughter? Why are we he giving us to the sword? Here is why. Because when I call, you did not answer. When he called, when he said, come out of her, my people, you did not answer. You said he's going to gather us. You said we would be raptured. You said spaceships was going to come get us. You said we would be raptured into the wilderness. You see these people, he called, come out of her, my people. And you did not answer. When I spoke, come from among them. Don't stand still. This is what he told us. Be gone, escape. Free up out of midst of her. This is what he told us. I spoke, he spoke these words. He spoke, deliver yourself, you who dwell with the daughter of Babylon. Zechariah 2 and 7, he spoke this. You did not hear. You heard. You called it a flea doctrine. You ridiculed it. You said Babylon was everywhere. You said Babylon was spiritual. And now the joke's on you. But you did raw. Remember, they start beating their fellow brother. You did evil before my eyes and choose that in which I did not delight. The Most High do not delight when people say Babylon is everywhere. The Most High do not delight when people say spaceships coming to get us. The Most High do not delight when he says he's going to gather us. We don't have to do anything. He does not delight in these things because it never came from his mouth. So these people are the flock of the slaughter and are waiting for this great slaughter and will go down. When the Most High call, we should answer. The righteous answer. And the wicked will not answer. We should always stay in his word and know what he wants for us to do. Shalom.